Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make a filter gallery using Isotope jQuery plugins. So let's start. So here is our example site. So here is our menu part and here is every item. So when you click on web, so it show web category, web related uh, product or project, whatever you want. And when click software, it show software related product. When click graphics, it show graphic related. And when click SEO, it show SEO related product. And whenever you click on all, it show all product here. So we uh, in this tutorial, we try to make as it like this. So let's start. So already I create a few basic file with basic structure here, uh, SR, CSS style CSS with uh, basic our markup, star margin 0, value 0, Google font and just container with and in this tutorial we make this full project with html css and flagbox with pure coding no framework we will use so first we make this uh, markup so uh, go to html so already i write basic part okay remove this line not uh, need this okay so first write container uh, inside container, uh, just write like portfolio uh, menu. Inside portfolio menu, I just write ul. Inside ul, just like li uh, into 5. Okay. So, first is item all, then software, sorry, web, then software, uh, then like graphics and finally seo okay back to browser and refresh the page and check so our our item show here and because there is space because i use a uh, container margin top bottom 100 pixel for better output okay and next part is this part so after this i write here portfolio item another uh, class like portfolio uh, portfolio items inside portfolio items just write single portfolio okay and then just write a img so already i collect all images here are portfolio six images okay so just write assets slash img slash portfolio one so when user move cursor upon the every image so there is an overlay with few text title and description so for this i after image i write another uh, div like portfolio overlay inside portfolio overlay div i just write a h4 tag with like project title after this another p tag with uh, project description okay so we need six items so here are six items so i copy single portfolio six times so copy this part and just control b two three four five six okay fine and just change the images so first one portfolio one second portfolio two then third then four five and finally six so our markup is done so back to browser and refresh okay fine everything is okay now so in style CSS, I code basic code like img tag max width 100% vertical align middle. Okay. Refresh. Fine. That's okay. So first we uh, design this menu part. So we can use flexbox. So portfolio menu. Click, click this inside portfolio menu. Then you will just write display flex justify content center list style none then margin bottom like 30 pixel 30 or 40 pixel okay fine then every ally item so again this copy this class then ally just write text sorry text transform uh, text transform uppercase font weight bold font size like 20 pixel 18 border 1 pixel solid 
has triple D padding uh, 5 pixel 20 pixel margin top bottom 0 left right 10 pixel okay so our this menu part done and here basically this is not link but when you, you click like a uh, link so here I just write cursor pointer okay and we can uh, increase few spaces like 50 pixel 50 or 60 okay so copy inline click on inline and copy all the code uh, already written and paste here okay so our next part so this part so again inspect so here parent item is our portfolio item so click plus icon portfolio items display flex justify content space between flex wrap wrap okay then single portfolio we can just write flex basis like 30 percent okay 33 percent that's fine when use a mock cursor so this will be happen like this okay so first i write position relative okay position relative and then portfolio overlay click class first right position absolute left zero top zero so this is our item okay and then write width 100 percent height 100 percent then display flex flex direction column justify content center align item center okay so this is perfectly okay now then change color to white color as triple f then we need a uh, overlay like opacity with our background overlay so just here already this is position absolute so copy this class and click plus here colon uh, before or after then write content blank position absolute with 100 percent height 100 percent uh, left zero top zero background color like hash triple three opacity point uh, eight z index minus one and at the parent uh, parent with our overlay just write JS2 for upper sorry this part J index 2 so this part is almost done so next is our this part so portfolio overlay inside portfolio overlay there is H4 and P so portfolio overlay H4 text transform uppercase font size 20 pixel 24 okay margin bottom like 5 pixel then uh, project portfolio overlay p tag text transform capitalize font style italic so uh, this marker is done so when you show when user move cursor upon the image so this part will be shown so basically for now we will uh, just write here top 0 we just write top 100 percent so it moved to at the bottom so when I show when is a move cursor up on the image so this is our single portfolio so when is a move cursor up on the single portfolio then portfolio 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 uh, overlay top zero so again okay perfectly okay but it uh, coming too fast so for making slow so we can just write here transition like point three s point three s and move cursor okay fine that's perfectly okay but one problem is it show at the bottom so it's look very odd so at the single portfolio we can just write overflow hidden overflow hidden so it basically it don't show any item uh, outside the single portfolio when move cursor it's perfectly okay now so our markup is done now so our final step is uh, at the isotope filter so i first i paste all the css code paste here fine okay 
So ISO filter first we need a jQuery library. So just search here jQuery uh, library. Here is jQuery.com official site from jQuery library. We use latest version of jQuery. So this is 3.6.0 latest version. Click download add. We use download a compressed version. So click here and this is our code. So control A, control C and back to browser create a folder uh, like already js inside js i create a file just like jquery.min.js paste all the code and call this file before uh, body tag so just write here a script then src asset js jquery.js and now we need our iso filter so just write here iso top js so this is our official site iso top js filter plugin so with this plugin just click on here and here you can show our demo purpose here this is our demo okay so we need one file just iso top package dot main dot js so click this file and this is our code control a control c so again create a new file like iso top uh, i uh, iso top dot mean dot js okay so after js we call this need to call this file so just write a script sorry uh, src assets slash js slash j uh, iso top dot mean dot js okay so our last part so back to again our official site so we can click on filtering and at the bottom part we scroll at the bottom this not part this part after ui this is part so look here there is a, uh, a, a they use button tag but we use uh, ul ally so this is no matter we need data filter so copy this uh, filter item attribute and paste here space paste paste again and lastly here so here there is all so you can just write start start means all so for web we use dot web class for software we use dot software and then for graphics we use graphics class and finally for seo we use dot uh, seo plus okay after this and this is our final code initial and copy this line okay i will explain so after uh, iso library sorry iso file i just write a skip code and paste first i uh, element the code okay so what is meaning the code for say initial isotope so why isotope will be initial so variable grid okay fine so here is you need to uh, add class so how is our class so this is our class portfolio items inside portfolio items every item single item show so just copy this class and paste here okay so it's initialize then filter items on button click so when is a click on button that's mean when click we have software graphics so where is the item so this is portfolio item and then you will okay so just write here portfolio item inside you will so on click means ally so every he click ally then uh, data filter will be work here and our last work is so when user click on a uh, web button so which item show so we need to write here like this class so we write here class like this web so just like here web like uh, for example seo if we have multiple category uh, like graphics software you can write uh, uh, together uh, many, uh, many as they wish but must be at a space here uh, then here like web graphics software okay and then we can write seo and then graphics and then we can write web and seo 
okay so hopefully all is okay now so back to browser and refresh click on web click on all okay it's work fine but here is maybe something problem with it so maybe here we need to write single portfolio 33 to person uh, 33 or 31 uh, let me okay it's what now so i change here play basis to with 32 person then it will perfectly okay so here is a click on web so it's a web related product portfolio software related then graphics related then SEO related when click all it show all related product so when user click on web but it don't show any hints that we are now currently web category so if you uh, add 80 plus so it will be very uh, easy to understand why user currently move cars uh, current user currently stand here so for this we can uh, add class so again back to here we can copy this line uh, after this we can paste here and first bracket okay so here we just write this uh, then we can write siblings then in siblings we can add add a class like active okay and then remove class remove class we can after this uh, we can just write active active okay and then again write here dot this dot add class and dot uh, active okay so let me explain this uh, code meaning so back to again browser and refresh so when i click on web and inspect here so you can show here there is a class added active but when click on software and show here the active class will be from removed from here so when click on graphics and show here all class removed from here so this class uh, help to uh, add which is active class and remove from other class which is uh, previously activated so here we have a class and active so we can copy this line okay so when li have dot active class so just write background color till color hash triple f so our this part is done now so copy this part and paste here okay so finally our this part is perfectly okay now so when user click on web software graphics or seo or well okay so hopefully you understand this class and if you like this class please like share and subscribe and please share to others so many others will be uh, benefited from this video hopefully so thank you very much stay well